Hello, and welcome to Code in 5 Minutes with Zim. I'm Dr. Abstract, and in this Code in 5 Minutes, we're going to take a look at how to animate a blob. So let's go to the Zim site at zimjs.com, and we'll hit the Code button here, and then Copy. That copies the template, and we'll drop on into Atom, an editor such as Atom, and we will paste this into the editor. Right, so this is our template. We're going to go in and delete the circle stuff and leave ourselves with put your code here and stage.update inside the template. Where we can begin to code, we're all ready. We will now uh, start the timer. Woot woot. Okay, so we're going to make a new blob. New blob. And we'll dot center that on the stage and let's have a, have a look at that blob. We'll open in browser. So there we go. Now, if we take this and rotate it, we're going to animate it, but if we rotate it with the handle size as it is now, you'll see that that uh, doesn't leave us much excitement. But if we, if we, uh, <laughs> much excitement, woo -hoo. if we, if we open that up a bit and rotate it, then we get a larger area in here and it just kind of looks better. So what we're going to be doing is opening up the handle size and making the handle size bigger on our blob. So that looks like uh, like this that would be um, control length uh, colon and we'll set that to 500. So that's fairly big. Let's also make our blob color colon black and we'll give it some more points as well. Points colon 10 like that and interactive colon false so that we can't see the control points. And now if we were to take a look at the blob, we've got a black blob with uh, the control points bigger. That looks kind of neat, huh? Funny looking thing. They've gotten so big that it's to some degree wrapped around in some weird sense. What we're going to do now is we're going to loop through the control points. So we have to name this blob. Uh, const blob is equal to. We're going to loop through that blob. Blob dot point controls they're called and these are the containers that hold hold the controls so we're looping through the control points and each time we're going to be given a point which we'll send into an arrow function like so and um, for each point we're going to do some stuff to it so we're going to wiggle it point dot wiggle and we'll wiggle it in the x position, and the starting point for that will wiggle will be the points dot x, so its current position. And then we're going to move it at least 100 to 500, so that's a range How about to 400. Um, or not 3400, just 400 is fine. And then this amount of time, 2500 and uh, 5500. So that's. Uh, that's moving, that's wiggling its x position, the point, or the, the point's x position. We'll do something similar for the y position here, but we'll make it go around the y and a little bit less, say something like 50 and 200, but in the same amount of time. And then we'll also um, copy that line and change the rotation as well. We're going to wiggle the rotation about the point, or about zero, that is rotate about zero, we will start at 100 minimum rotation each time and 300 maximum rotation. We'll bring this up a bit, 55, um, something like that. So this is a, a 5 seconds to 15 seconds roughly, uh, slowing down that rotation. If you want to slow it down even more, you can increase those numbers. To see the animation, we have to set a ticker or we have to constantly be updating the blob. So we do that in a ticker, ticker.add, this arrow function right here. Oops, almost that arrow function. And there is a hotkey in Atom for an arrow function. You want to see it? AF, enter. And well, it makes an arrow function look like that, does it? Okay, and then we say blob dot uh, update like so. Alrighty, let's check that out in a browser now. Refresh here. Whee! Look at that. So we uh, have done it. We've rotated a blob in four, four minutes, that is. So let's pause that timer. 
and see, um, play around with it a little bit if we so desire. First of all, if we wanted to bring or take off the interactive false and turn it to be interactive, then we can uh, remove the interactive and let's see what that looks like. Whoa, yeah, so those are all the control points. Tell you what, why don't we simplify that a little bit and bring that down to how about two points. Let's see what two points look like. There we go. So there's two points off and away. Now, uh, they both started in the same direction. That's, that's kind of random. You can actually uh, make them start in uh, certain directions, but eventually their, their movements will, will change because the speed at which they're doing each point is, is changing as well. So you'll uh, get that. And here's what that looks like with no control points. It just clicked off and the control points are gone. Cool, huh? All right, so uh, this has been a, a Zim capture. Uh, nope, a Zim what's uh, happening in five minutes. <laughs> it's either uh, what's bubbling in five minutes, a Zim capture, or what is, or who knows what these things are. I think this is a code in five minutes. <laughs> yeah, let's take a look. Yeah, it is a code in five minutes. How about that? We, we coded it in four. And I'm Dr. Abstract, uh, so come on into Zim, ZimJS.com, uh, or join us on Slack, ZimJS.com slash Slack, and hang out with us. We'd love to see you there. Maybe you can start coding some things in five minutes. I tell you, it's sometimes better than coding something in three days. <laughs> or perhaps I should have said five days. Yeah, I'd rather do five minutes in five days. So Zim's uh, quite efficient. And if you want to see this example, uh, you can go to zimjs.com slash five, F-I-V-E, and see it in the directory there. Have a great night or day. Ciao.